Welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, let's take a look at an exponential question from the United States. We are given 5 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of y is equal to 91,125. From there, we are trying to find the value of a fraction consisting of both these variables. Since we are not allowed to use a calculator, logarithm is out of the question. So instead, let's just focus on this fraction itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the fraction to turn it into something that I can work with. So what I now have is x plus y over xy. When I separate out the fraction, I can actually turn this into x over xy plus y over xy. From there, if I do a cancellation, I now have 1 over y plus 1 over x. In other words, the fraction that we are looking for is actually the inverse of the sum of 1 over y plus 1 over x. Let's now focus our attention on the original exponential equation. Keep in mind, 1 over x and 1 over y are the entities that we are interested in. So let me go ahead and write out the exponential equation. I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 91,125. And since I'm interested in 1 over x, let me go ahead and put an exponent here on the left hand side of 1 over x. And I'll do the same thing on the right hand side. Remember, x and x will cancel each other. So what I now have is 5 to the power of 1 is equal to 91,125 to the power of 1 over x. That solved the first part of this expression. So now we are going to do the same thing with y. I have 9y, I'm sorry, 9 to the power of y is equal to 91,125. Using the exact same trick, I'm going to raise this to the power of 1 over y. Same thing on the right hand side and let the exponents cancel each other. What I now have is 9 to the power of 1 is equal to 91,125 to the power of 1 over y. I'm going to call this my equation 1. I'm going to call this my equation 2. For the next step, I'm just going to multiply equation 1 with equation 2. So on the left hand side, I have 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 9 to the power of 1. On the right hand side, I have 91,125 to the power of 1 over x multiplied by 91,125 to the power of 1 over y. No surprises on the left hand side, it's pretty straightforward. That's just 5 times 9, so that's equal to 45. On the right hand side, I'm going to make use of the simple rule of indices and turn this into 91,125 to the power of 1 over x plus 1 over y. And that's the entity that we are interested in. For the next step, let's try to figure the relationship between 91,125 and 45. And at this stage, I'm just going to cheat a little bit and use a calculator. If I have 91,125 divided by 45, that's equivalent to 2,025. If I divide this further by 45, I would actually have another 45. There's no need to go any further because we are only interested in 45. So we now know 91,125 is equal to 45 times 45 times 45. In other words, that's equal to 45 cubed. So let's go ahead and equate both sides of the equation. I have 45 is equal to 45 cube multiplied by 1 over x plus 1 over y. If I cancel out 45 on both sides, I have 1 is equal to 3 times 1 over x plus 
1 over y. In other words, 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over 3. And keep in mind the original fraction that we are looking for xy over x plus y is equal to the inverse of 1 over x plus 1 over y, which is then equal to 1 over 1 over 3, that's equal to 3. That's the answer for today's question. I don't consider this to be a very challenging question, but it's a good form of practice for those that are considering to take part in any kind of competition. As always, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.